Hi, I'm Roxy Shahidi. Thank you for joining me. Um, we're going to be working through some kriyas, which is a repetition of an asana over and over again. It's just really good for loosening up the body, building strength. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be using my phone to time our kriyas. So we're going to start with twisting. So we're going to ground down through the feet, engage the core, tuck the tailbone down. And it's really simple. You're going to inhale over the left shoulder and exhale over the right shoulder. Now you can start off slow. Just feel your spine. Be aware of any pinching sensations or aches and just observe your body. Go at the speed that works for you. You can soften through the knees, but keep the core engaged. Also, the breath can be powerful here. So you can inhale left, exhale right. And as you flow, you might want to increase the speed a little, but you will start to feel that spine naturally just opening up. Allow the hands to tap the lower back. About half a minute left. If you're feeling adventurous, maybe take that speed up. If you're feeling a little bit dizzy, just start to slow it down now. and gently come to stillness. Take a moment, feel the body, maybe close the eyes so you can really tune inward and observe any sensations. Do the shoulders feel different? Is there a lightness there? Does the spine feel more awake? Do you just feel looser? Our next Kriya is really good for breaking down fatty tissue. Um, in the, on the back and on the sides here. So we're going to bring the feet together. And those external obliques. We're going to bring the feet together. Engage the core, tuck the tailbone down, inhale, exhale, interlace those fingers and place them behind your head. We're going to be inhaling center and then exhale, just take the left elbow down. As you do so, really push those hips to the right. So we're inhaling center, exhale, take the right elbow down and push the hips to the left. Remember, we're going to flow here for two minutes and just go at your own speed. This is like a private one-on-one -on -one for you. So keep tuning inward, observing your body. Sometimes when we slow it down, we actually have to work harder. You might start to feel a burning sensation down the sideways now. Stick with it, just under a minute to go. Keep drawing those elbows back to get a nice opening in the chest.
30 seconds. Maybe take the speed up. And then just start to slow it down for the last 10 seconds. Now reach up, stretch, exhale, release, well done. <sighs> Again, just take a moment, close the eyes, keep them open, whatever feels good for you. Just feel the body. Tune inward. really nice to come to stillness after all that movement. The next one we're going to do is a Passerita Padottanasana flow. It's a wide leg forward fold flow. Um, really good if you suffer with low back problems, tight hamstrings, sciatica, anything of that nature. So we're going to inhale, lengthen the torso, legs are nice and straight and strong, you can draw the toes in towards each other. Then you're going to exhale and fold forward, bringing the hands to the floor. Now, if the hands don't come all the way to the floor, that's okay. You can pile up some cushions, you can use blocks or a bolster, pillows, anything that's going to give you that support. So let's start together flowing now. So we inhale, reach the heart forward, extend. Exhale, folding down, releasing, letting go. Inhale, nice, fluid, soothing movement. Exhale, folding forward. If you want to work a little bit harder, inhale and just come up off those fingertips to really build and strengthen that lower back. Exhale, melting down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhale, extend, lift, exhale, fold. Remember to go at your pace. If your breath is long and strong, you might be working a little bit slower than me. If you have a slightly shallower breath, you might be working a bit faster, but that's okay. Just tune in, maybe close the eyes and do whatever feels good for you. Just remember to keep inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you go down. Extend back through those legs. head just to hang, draw the elbows in towards each other and take a few breaths here. Come all the way down onto the knees. Our final one will be our up dog, down dog flow. So if this is too much for you, you can inhale here on hands and knees and then exhale, just take the bum back to the heels, keep the hands extended. If you want to work in the full posture, begin with me now. So we're going to come into plank, toes are tucked, and then we're inhaling into upward dog, exhaling into downward dog. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Remember 
to go at your speed. This is more cardiovascular, requires more strength. But you still should try and move with grace and ease. Keep the face relaxed. As you exhale and draw back, try and lift from the core. So you feel as though your power and your pull back is really coming from those abdominal muscles. Just under a minute left, so you're already halfway. If you need to take a rest, drop to your knees, do the modified version, do so. There's no right or wrong. Just do whatever feels good for you. If you're still with me, let's challenge ourselves now. We've got 30 seconds left. Let's so maybe take that speed up. Feel that heat, feel that tapas starting to really build in the core. Last few. And one. Drop to your knees, extend the arms, and let's come into a child pose. Take a few deep breaths in. to a comfortable seated position. You can sit on a block or a cushion, whatever feels good. Turn the palms up and let's just have a minute or two of silence just to reconnect with the body. Take your focus to your breath, feel the inhale and the exhale. Exhale, allow the shoulders to melt down. Feel the hips nice and grounded. Feel the face soft and relaxed. Maybe smile gently. And allow a sense of peace wash over you as you inhale and exhale. Relax the eyebrows, the cheeks, the jaw. If you've got time, Come into Svarasana, lying down on the mat. If not, I hope you have a great day and you've enjoyed this mini well-grounded practice. Thank you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.